hi everyone uh, today in this video i will explain how to import period and volume discounts in sap business one uh, for those uh, who are not aware of the period and volume discounts uh, just a quick overview is we can define discounts based on quantity uh, let's say if customer purchased uh, two units of an item he will get 10 percent or even we can define the discount without quantity a state forward discount and in such cases the quantity will be one and uh, it can be uh, applied to a specific price list like if a customer is assigned a price list one and whatever discount is defined in the price list one it will be applied to the customer when he will be selected on the sales transactions uh, to upload the discounts uh, by, D uh, by DTW uh, you can find the templates in C drive uh, program files and in SAP folder under the DTW templates folder we have something here price lists in the inventory special prices and then special prices for business partners uh, there are total three templates uh, which you have to fill I will show you all of them and we will import uh, them in the system as well I have these templates here the first template is related to table OSPP and uh, in this template you need to mention the items you need to mention the discount percentage and the price list number uh, how to know, know the price list number you can simply go to business one and go to inventory item master data view and enable the system information and just hover your cursor over the required price list let's say for a price list 2 so if you see here you will see the number 2 then in the second file which is related to SPP1 I need to have the same item codes ok the first column is basically reference to the uh, the first template the item code and uh, I don't have to mention the card code because I'm not importing special prices for business partners I will mention the validity date I mean to date then from date and discount percentage and price list number if I don't want to import uh, discount as percentage as an amount I can do it I will just mention the price and I will keep keep the discount column empty uh, the third sheet we have is related to quantities like if there is any condition uh, of quantity to avail the discount so for, for example you want to have discount in system once customer purchased five units then the, the specific discount should be applicable or the other cases you don't want it based on the quantity you want the straight forward discount so in that scenario the quantity column will be one and the first column in this file is the same like others item code which is the parent key then quantity discount and if you are using multiple unit of measurements you need to specify here the unit of measurement entry as well uh, how you can know the unit of measurement entry the same way we uh, we we check price list you can go to any item okay and you can hover your cursor over the uh, unit of measurement group or uh, over the sales unit of measurement and you will know what is the unit of measurement entry okay I already have this template saved in txt format so I will go to DTW okay if just we want to see here if I go to SAP period and volume discount I choose the price list 2 there is nothing here okay I will go to DTW after login I will choose import here I need to choose setup data then add new data inventory price list special prices special prices for business partners then I will select all these three files first file ok second one and third one and then I will just have a look everything is mapped well I will do the simulation okay there is nothing wrong in my file okay I will proceed for the import
okay it's imported successfully now i will go to business one and if i choose here price list two i can see there are two items for which discount is defined now in my file i define discount for one item as 10 percent you can see here and this is the validity and if i go deeper to check the quantity it's it's on quantity one okay and for the other item i defined it as 10 5 percent sorry 5 percent so the same conditions like i will check the quantity details validity details okay everything is correct if there is any question please feel free to ask uh, in the comments sections thank you very much for watching